Yo, welcome back, Nick. Adam. Yeah. There you go. Uh, we're back at the rewire job we were at. Not last video, video before. As you can see, some power's on. We've done a hell of a lot. Uh, this is our fourth day. We were hoping to get it finished yesterday, but it, it just didn't happen. We run out of steam and we have to go and do jobs in the evening, which is always the case for me. I'm just too busy. Uh, first of all, I want to mention uh, the channel sponsor for today. It's its.co.uk. So thank you very much for them. Uh, they've got in contact me, with me because they have got all the Black Friday deals going across all of November. Uh, there's a new Black Friday deal every Friday. Uh, so obviously workwear, tools, hand tools, all that sort of stuff. Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, all the different major brands. So if you order before 7 p.m., you will get it next day, uh, either at home or to site. They do one hour time slots for delivery seven days a week, and they've got thousands of five star reviews all across Trustpilot. Also, if you order over £50, if you use, unfortunately it's not Bundy 10, it's Nick Bundy, promo code, and you order over 50 quid, you'll get a £30 goodie bag, which is always nice. Um, it ends on the 7th of December, so go and check them out, it's its.co.uk. Right, so now I'm running around the job. So this is what I did with the board. Didn't really have much choice. The plaster came all loose. Obviously, you can see the previous board up there. Um, Lucy blocks went in, new fuse box board. Uh, obviously, a bit of FlexiCon for a socket up there. He wants to put the Wi-Fi up there. I said, probably not the best idea because obviously you'll get interference. Here's what it is. We'll label it up. We've only got the light, downstairs lights on at the moment. It's just me and Adam working at the property. Um, so I'm not concerned that someone's going to come and turn the doors locked. I'm not concerned that someone's going to come and turn the lights off when we're working on upstairs. Sockets down here. There we go. This is what I mean about using the sockets. Plastic and plaster all around there. And they're fixed to the wall. A couple of sockets, pendant up, and new switch. I realised off the previous video I was going, which was much too quick. So I'll slow down. We've got smoke alarm up here. We've got a heat alarm in here. Oh, 300 away from the wall, I think it's the regulations. Got six spots. The kitchen will become live very shortly. Once I've done my dead tests on it. Uh, it was very late last night. We managed to get the lighting circuit tested to do the way we wanted it to then power it up. So we actually had some light last night while we we're packing up. Uh, utility room, socket there. This isn't going to become live yet. This is going to be put in a Wago box. There's a cupboard going in here, big vanity unit coming in here with a washing machine there and a sink on top. So the socket is going to go underneath to the sink unit. We've got 2D fitting up here. That's about it. Up here, we're still working. So this is where we're going to be working today. I put a thing on Instagram earlier saying, ask me and Adam anything. Ask us anything. Because we're only going to be second fixing today. And I want to do a question video for quite a while for you guys to get across from them. The burning questions that you want to ask of. But also, when we, before we get to the questions, we're going to run upstairs. Vito ran me up the other day the old Vito Pro Pack. He said, Nick, Nick, we want to send you a bag. We want to send you a bag to put your videos. Which one do you want? So I thought, oh, this one looks cute. I ordered this one. But I'm getting to the stage now, and it's, it's a great stage to be in, don't get me wrong, of I have too many tool bags, um, and I like this one because it's small, and I want to try and get a little job bag. So I've got this one for my ICRs, <coughs> which over time, everything started to go missing from it because I keep I leaving my tools, uh, tool, other tool bags in my pockets. The same with this one, to have a look through. So we'll have a quick, a quick mooch. I've not put anything in it. I've owned it about three weeks since sat in the van. But uh, there is loads and loads of space in here and I'm quite chuffed to be honest. Look how much float Copex I can fit in there. Delicious, it's a good reel. That's nearly 20 meters, uh, 10 meters that is. So you've got usual pockets, the, um, wetsuit type, I can't remember what it's called. So this should be good for drill bit bag, to be fair. Um, but if anyone has any other things that I can keep in it, because I've got an EICR bag, I've got my main tool bag, I've got my XL bag for all first fix hammers and chisels and scrapers and all that sort of stuff. But I'm tempted for this to take over this because if you've seen the amount of EICRs we've done recently and the amount of tools I've put in it, it becomes so heavy and pointless, I might as well put it in this. It means I can keep some sleeving on it. Might be able to put the tester on. I mean, I don't really need to put the tester in my own testing bag, but take measure on the side, hard bottom, nice strap with all the VO stuff as usual. Uh, some pens and sharpies that can go on the side. So 
obviously you've got the little clip on there, you can clip the, the lid down, keep it open. So they are cracking, cracking tool bags. It's just, I either need to buy more tools to fill that one and have a couple of different bags. Right, here it is. Here it is. Right, I got, <laughs> you put it on our back, got hundreds of questions. I try and pick the most appropriate ones other than someone saying to me, I'll put it on the screen right now. Curtis, Azul, why Copex? Clown. That's right. Anyway, so first one, nerdy chemist. Uh, should ring final circuits be banned due to risk of overload on a broken ring? I don't think they should be banned. I actively stay away from them because first of all, like you've seen, we had the other day in last video, um, broken CPC. Uh, continuity, and we had to go round and round and round. How many stocks did we take off? 19? Something like that, so stupid. Yeah, to figure out, I'll try to stand here so you can see me, sorry. Uh, yeah, to figure out broken ring, no one likes a broken ring <laughs> every time. Um, there is a purpose for high load circuits, but equally, I just think you should just run a couple of radials to it. Uh, that means you can spur off it if you want to. It's easier to fault find. Obviously, if there's a fault, anything dead after that circuit will be, be, be anything broken after that circuit will be dead. So yeah, a good question. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see a purpose in ring mains anymore or ring final circuits. Build house. Not really a question. But keep up the amazing work. What'd you say to that? Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. XX or FFX. I'll put it on the screen anyway. Yeah. Uh, tips on going self-employed by Jakey Atkin. Um, tips on going self-employed. I really struggled with this question because I went self-employed literally from 18. Uh, still lived at home with mom and dad. I had no overheads, no kids, no mortgage. The only thing I had to pay for was my phone bill. And uh, so I find it really, really simple to go and do it because I didn't have an issue. I didn't have any... Um, what do they call it? What's the word? Dependents. Didn't have any dependents. Um, but now, obviously, it'd be completely different if I was doing something different. I want to jump self-employed. I think scope the area out. See how many sparks are around. See the, the general consensus of because in Staffer Island, there's about 20 sparks, but we all have enough work for each other, so it, it, it's it works out fine. 21 now. 21. Excuse me. So. Um, yeah, do a bit of research. Uh, if you want to go into it, start advertising early, post as Facebook, make sure you get your reviews in. If you do stuff on Facebook a lot, ask people to leave a comment. It goes a long way. And obviously get your family and friends to tag you in stuff when people want some more jobs doing as well. Next one, Jack Barrow. It's a classic, Adam. Classic. When are you and Adam getting married? Uh, no. <laughs> Don't know, brilliant. I think yeah, let's let's not go there. How do you get motivation back in your profession? Um, as my motivation has left me, they've been sucked out for me. My motivation really kicked back in through doing YouTube and joining social media with Instagram. You can see how other guys work, what you can aspire to do. I got the enjoyment back, trying new products, new tools. Obviously, it's all dependent on money. If you've got the money to invest in it, or waste, as some people probably will call it. Um, Shut sure. It. Uh, it really opened my eye of the way you can enjoy, because I always enjoy being an electrician, but then the past couple of years, I ever since I've, I've said the previous video, ever since like that, my mate died and my dad died, it was like, I just couldn't be bothered. I just, I just do the bare minimal, you know, let people down, make excuses up not to go to jobs and whatnot. I just wasn't right, and I, I just, I'd lost interest for it. And then like you say, I all of a sudden just started doing YouTube out of nowhere, and um, I've never enjoyed it as much in my life. Just to take pride in it, try and, what I found, that each job you do, that obviously are relatable, like rewires to rewires, fuseboards to fuseboards, try and better yourself on each job. Try and make it a competition with yourself that the next job's gonna be a bit better because you're gonna change this bit that you didn't like at the past job, so that's the sort of stuff I do. All right, next one, J Beck Electrical. How many days a week do Adam work with you? Every day of the week, and sometimes even a Saturday, and then a Sunday, he just turns up at my house for no reason. Don't you worry. Oh, he's in the lot. Hello, Jackie. You got all your PPE on, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Good lad. He actually has to be fair. Um, yeah, he's with, we literally work with us five days a week, sometimes six, because we're working on Saturdays at the moment before Christmas. Um, but he's meant to be at college one day a week. 
Every Monday, is it? College? Uh, meant, to be, yeah. meant to be, but obviously with Covid, it, um, they put it to once every six weeks, I think. Which he prefers because he hates going to college, but he has to do it. So cheers, Jamie. Um, Cam, would you recommend the buy stripper pole and is it worth the money? It is a lot of money, it's about 100, 120 quid, I can't remember what it was. I was hesitant to buy it and I put it in my basket a lot of times and then didn't buy it because it cost so much. But literally, and I can say 90% of jobs that I've done recently, it's come out on every job. And even if I don't use it for the laser, because it's got the attachment on top, which has got the threaded bar for uni lights, I can stick a uni light on it and hang my camera off it as well. So I've had my money's worth out of it, definitely. Sorry, I've had two phone calls since we last spoke. Uh, what was the last one? I think it was the stripper pole. Bosh pole. Yeah. <laughs> um, any advice for someone to retrain to spark while still working full time elsewhere? So I do get this quite a lot, don't we? I've asked you like this. I don't really know, and that's my honest opinion. I've always passed it across to Dave Savory, really, because Dave did do that. He was in a full time job. He retrained in the evenings, I think, on a college course, and he came uh, qualified that way. I don't know. I went straight from school to college, so I've never actually gone through the process. And equally, people ask me about apprenticeships. I don't know. I never did one. Um, Adam's doing one. Ask Adam. No, Message Adam no, privately. No, don't hey, ask me. His Instagram will be on the bottom of the screen right now, so that's fine. Um, Adam just felt lucky, and you know that, and I know that. I felt lucky with Adam, Adam felt lucky with me. Um, obviously, we knew each other, and we've gone through all this story before, but it's Adam put the graft in. You worked for free for a long time, so yeah. I could be, in my head, happy with knowing I can get the extra work in. Adam became very competent with electrics, to a point as an apprentice very quickly compared to what I did. But obviously I spent the time and effort helping you, didn't I? So mm. it helped. He's keen to learn, he's a superstar. Oh. No, you stuck with me. Oh, gross. Um, but yeah, so I don't really know. I think the best person to ask him would be Dave, Dave Savory. I'll put a link to his stuff below. Full sequence on live testing. Uh, full live testing sequence. Sorry, I am dyslexic. The problem I have with doing this and I, I wanted to, and I've said before, I was going to do a whole video of changing the fuse board over in real time. But the, the, the issue is, and I got people messaging me saying, great idea, we want to see it, which is like the apprentices or the people that come into the trade. But then a lot of people saying, a fully qualified spark, don't do it. Because it would be all right if that was just solely you learning as an apprentice to how to, to watch me do it, which would be great, a great learning experience. But then at the same time, if it's on YouTube, you've got any person you know, not, not shouting out DIYs because, Christ, we know Artisan did bad at that, let's be honest, <laughs> I told you about that. I can actually say don't do it because you're not an electrician, but people are going to do it regardless. I can't show a job start to finish with how we start all the way through to the end then testing because it will show everyone how to do it and I'm not doing that. I'm not trying to show the people that don't want to be sparked how to test houses because they would do it not safe. You know, that, that, that's the reason why I can't show full stuff wise. Everyone will be doing it and hurting themselves. Um, does filming slow you down in the process? You take that into account when quoting jobs? No, not at all. No, not taking into account quoting jobs whatsoever. It's lucky that customers allow me to do it. That most of them just don't even care. They're like, yeah, whatever. I don't even know what you're doing. I explain the process and say, you know, 20, 30,000 people can see it. They're like, it's fine. I just say I won't get pictures of family members or your name or address or anything on it. But no, we never take into consideration. And it does slow us down, like it's now. I'm sat on the toilet in the middle of the landing. Just go over there and show everyone how I'm sitting. They got the rip the wall out. It's my throne. <laughs> King like this now. King we're, throne. Yeah, still we'll get you on it. But uh, yeah, so it does slow us down. Now it does, especially because I've got Adam to film this bit. Normally if I'm walking around waffling to you lot, he's still cracking on with stuff, but now I've stopped both of us, so. Yeah, it does slow us down, but equally I get paid from the videos, so I don't lose money as such. It did to start with, but obviously now I'm monetized on YouTube and I get paid through adverts, it's one of them. What type of uh, LEDs in the back of the van and show more of your van? Should we show them if it's messy or not? How bad is it? It's not too bad. Come on, let's go show you. <laughs> I just opened it slightly. We haven't met, organized it because, but, this is us been doing two rewires, getting home at giving up eight and, other jobs. Night, and then do a job after that as well, so. Ooh. Oh, it's not even that bad to be fair. It's not. 
It's obviously where we've been wiping our hands. Go in the two metres, please. That's it. Um, Adam's bag. Testing bag. Adam's usually like bag. <laughs> it's not too bad. That lives up there. So does that. That's clipped onto that. That lives down there. Um, I broke the ladder thing, did I? Which put the van, yeah, it's had to rip the van clip off. <laughs> but yeah, and it's just materials at the front. So it's not too bad. You've still got this. And these, these would be gone set, don't they? Yeah. Right, sorry, Adam needs to get. Adam, can you go back to work, please? Yeah. Wasting time. <sighs> right, I'll do a couple more and I'll get home some work for a bit. Uh, what sort of screwdriver do you use for fuse boards? Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, the Weir or whatever, Weir, Weir, whatever you want to call it. That one's wicked. It comes in one piece, you just have to pull down the sleeve, twist it around to get to the torque setting. A lot better than the other ones I had, where you've got to pull them apart, stick a rod, twist it to the torque setting, take it out. It's a pain in the ass. So yeah, uh, one more. Uno more. Um, is Adam the best apprentice you've ever had? From Jack. No. He doesn't know this. But no. I had another one in the past, didn't I, Adam? Yeah, Adam too. <laughs> Adam too. Yeah, no. yeah, no, he's the only apprentice I've had. He's all right. I had to put this at the beginning, but this is a box full of all the stuff from the fireboard from the last video. I kept it all because I just thought it was really interesting. I didn't actually give it enough air time because we were there till stupid o'clock. So I thought I'd save it and put it in another video. So that was our 10 mil feed that didn't actually do anything. It was cut off the board, old shower feed, I think. But the problem with fire cables as well, fire cables, the cables that have set on fire, there's a leaf in that, um, they become sweaty. I shouldn't really touch this, I glove on again. My hands were stained for three days before. That was the 10 mil going to the gas. That was just a bit. And then obviously this was all the neutrals and CPCs connected to the oh, buzz, uh, the, bar, the buzz bars, not the buzz bars, the bars. That was stripped out. This was your mains isolator, that way. Oh, God. But you can see how absolutely knackered that got. And then this is our get off. Crispy board, it still stinks as well. It's not me. Sorry? It's not me. <laughs> and our tails fused together. And obviously they're the clips from our uh, main isolator. But a few people would have said that the, the fire would have caused from the main isolator, but they are in there tight. So that would have been the loose connection where it come off, off the top of here. You see that one melted to hell. But they're in there tight. We tried to unscrew them and they are bunched along with the heat might fuse it together. But that what makes me think the fire started in the breaker and went across. But like I said, I'm no fire expert, so I don't know. But anyway, just thought that was interesting. My hands are black again. All right, more questions. I had to actually just delete, I don't know, I had to delete the, uh, Instagram post saying, ask me questions. I've had 12, 1,213 questions. So it's either gonna be a really long video or I'm just gonna do a few because I can't no, do that. Cut the twin. Cut the twin? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go this one. Uh, Jay Heath, uh, what's your biggest mistake on a job? And this was years ago, years and years ago. And of course it was a favor for a friend. Um, his mom asked me to change her electric shower over, which I did, <laughs> badly. He used to live down my road and unknown to me, his dad had plumbed it in years ago and instead of putting, I don't know, plumbing wise, was it, was the pipe going 20 mil before it gets soldered or something like that? Anyway, it wasn't 20 mil, it was literally like two. And the only thing I did to start with, I just took, I took the, turned the power off, but I pulled the front of the shower off to have a look at what's what. And as by doing that, the mains water just shot out the back into the airing cupboard and decided to flood 
literally their entire house. Um, they just have brand new laminate downstairs. As I'm then trying to cap it off, I've got my phone out, trying to ring my dad to come and help me. Broke my phone. I then was touching the boiler in the airing cupboard and got electric shock off that, nearly died. Yeah, it was absolutely awful, absolutely awful. This is why I try and say to Adam as well, whatever job you ever start in a house, no matter if it's changing the light fitting or what, find that when... Find out where the main gas uh, stop, stop tap is and the water, just in case. Why a Batman hat? To be honest, I bought this years ago, wore it every now and then. I've got loads of different flat peak hats and then I just started wearing my back. I think I must have got a fat head at one point because the other one didn't fit. I've got about 15 hats and then I just wore the Batman one and just kept wearing it, wearing it at work and then it became a thing on the videos, so. I ordered a new one recently because this one is getting a bit manky and they sent me the wrong size, so I never re I sent it back and never reordered it. I need to. At what point does bread become toast from Kip? When it becomes slightly stiff? What would you say, Adam? Adam, yeah? when does bread become toast? Once it's cooked. Once it's cooked. Brilliant. Okay. Never mind. What's your favourite part of the job from uh, Brannon? Earning fat stacks. Earning fat stacks, as Adam just said. Yeah, why not? No, uh, job satisfaction. I like customer um, interaction, talking through it, explaining, and obviously getting uh, a pat on the back at the end saying, good job and all that stuff. You good job! How many Wagos can you fit up your nose? We've got big nostrils. That's two three ways. Yeah, no, that's as far as we go. <laughs> Will's Electrical. An advert for my 50 gifts for Electrical YouTube channel. <laughs> Will's Electrical channel, which is this one here. I'll put a link below. Will's done a, uh, well, 50 tools that you could buy as Christmas gifts for other people. So go check it out. Nice one, Will. Ever considered, see, so yeah, this is a good question, this one. I like this one. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> He's done a really good question, and then the next question he's left me. <laughs> it's just terrible. Okay, this is from Nick. Ever considered any electrical vlogs, any non-electrician vlogs or videos, i.e. outside of work? I would love to, and I spoke about this in lockdown, but you've only got to look at, you know, Nagy's videos, which is a motor vlogging. I actually like that, because I used to have motorbikes, I got my motorbike license, I sold it because I've got kids. I just didn't have time, it was a waste of money. Um, to do all the stuff and he gets slated for it, but fair play to him, he carries on doing it. And I like watching him, it's just something different. But you can watch electrical videos from everyone else. I would like to do something different, but unfortunately, what I've said to my wife as well, I don't feel my life is interesting enough to do hmm. any That's actual fair, vlogs. Recently, you recently would just go to work, finish an eight. Yeah, and go home, and then yeah. go back to work the next day, and then even work weekends. Yeah. I don't do anything else, and the time that I'm at home, I need to concentrate on my family, playing with the kids, or paperwork which is taking a back step. And even tomorrow, we've got ahead on this. I'm actually taking tomorrow off and making that. I'm paying for Adam to have a day off tomorrow, brilliant. Um, to do paperwork and play catch up because I've just not got the time at the moment. Which you better I'm going to do college work. You need to do college work, yeah. But um, yeah, I would love to, but I don't, think people, I don't think my life's interesting enough, to be honest. And the audience I've got as my subscribers, they watch me for electrics. And I know we've got the banter and we, people like watching a bit of to and fro and whatnot, but I don't think it'd go anywhere, but anyway. But I'm on about setting another channel up, so maybe. Um, maybe, maybe. This is the other question from the same guy. Ever consider an OnlyFans? Your gay audience would love to see you with less clothes on. <laughs> you wouldn't go on it, yeah? We just need to cap these, extract a mirror. What we've done, this is the actual switch, two-way switch, so it's a three-core that's gonna go in the stud work but they're coming tonight to start it. So we put the feed in there, clipped it, and then we've run a temporary light switch that's just gonna sit on the corner of the loft and I'm just wiring it in now with the stuffing gland, just so they can use it. And they've got a bit of light tonight because obviously it's pitch black. This is what I've done in the entire property. We've wired all the switch drops in three core, which you can see there. So what we've been doing is just way going off the black and then using the gray as the switch live. That then future proofs it so we can have a neutral light switch if you ever wanna fit smart switches and that sort of stuff. Um, we're just changing up a bit, you know. I've done the wireless, we've got wireless switching 
video to do at the end of the week. Um, I've got the light and rewire again. But then what I've done here is because the outside light, you can't actually see it, comes around and down, I've brought a neutral to this switch so we can have the uh, switch operating the outside light with a neutral and a permanent feed, but then obviously that's just our normal switch for this as well. Live a life on the edge. Live a life on the edge. Sorry we couldn't film the last bit, the um, plaster and uh, bathroom, kitchens and bedrooms fair turned up. <laughs> that's what it says. Um, oh yeah. Sorry I couldn't answer all the questions, there was just way too many, and I'll happily do it again at some point. Um, with some other questions. I don't like the fans anyone, don't you mate? Yeah, fact. Right, see you soon. Remember, don't say it yet. Remember to subscribe. That's right. Right, you may. No, you can start it. Okay. You know, you start it. No, you start it. Bye. Bye.